pretty much the first step you always want to do is to check everything that's in the box just to make sure everything is there um, obviously the harness will be there and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be exposed like this but that's what the kit came with so I'm gonna put another um, heat shrink on that that way it's overlapping the plug and I'm assuming this is for the antenna obviously the mic the USB stuff uh, oh, HDMI so GPS and pretty much the large screen I'm not gonna take it out of the box yet I will wait till later on um, this is gonna be the new brackets um, to hold it in place I'm not gonna open the wolf box yet it came with the hardwired kit so I'll do that later on um, but let's go ahead and take off the radio now and then start swapping these parts to the original dash Uh, first things first, we're going to remove the whole dash. Um, this one comes off. Everything is just kind of pretty much clips and then it'll reveal um, for 10 millimeter. So I'll pop this off, pop this off, and this whole climate control assembly would pop off as well. And then it'll expose ten, four 10 millimeter bolts. So let's get to that. I was trying to remove just the bezels right here, which... These what clips are for, it's supposed to release just this beauty trim, but instead the whole thing came off as one, which is better. So just go ahead and release this clip right here by squeezing the two ear tabs. It was placed right here. You can use a long nose or a pick or something like that. Um, go ahead and unplug it. That pretty much takes care of that part. And then as you can see, it reveals for 10 millimeter bolts and then this whole screen just comes off pretty self-explanatory for this part like i said it just popped off by clips once you remove all four 10 millimeter bolts just go ahead and pretty much release all these plugs and the radio is pretty much removed got the factor radio off go ahead and take out the new unit in the box from the box i'm just kind of fully inspect it you're gonna notice there's scratches, but that's from the screen protector. Um, I did notice this kind of funky button right here. Doesn't seem to affect the issues of it. That one worked fine. Everything seems to be on par as far as like functionality. So I guess we'll find out once we install it. I'll go ahead and pretty much lay everything out and then we'll pretty much start swapping everything out. So I'm trying to put the factory clips this one was kind of sitting a little bit high and it won't go all the way down to the locking tab part to lock it in in that little notch right here so what you're gonna do is shave down this part right here notice how it has a line that's where it needs to be you need to cut off this excess um, material um, all the way to that line that shows right here all right this step is important you're gonna go ahead and take off the clock assembly to Phillips head screw right there. Once you get that out, this thing just slides down. Go ahead and plug it and I'll show you what steps to take next. So now that you got the clock assembly removed, you're gonna notice in the kit, it comes with these two foams and then these two air vent relocating pieces. Um, this is pretty much going to go right there, but it's behind this. So you're gonna have to kind of maneuver everything and it's going to sit just like that and mount, factory mounting bolt right there but you always want to add a little bit of this foam around it that way when you insert the radio itself it's going to seal pretty much all around right here so let's go ahead and pretty much put it in and start maneuvering everything in there and get it all screwed up so just go ahead and put that foam in there and then we're going to start placing it and screwing everything down um, leave the one on the bottom for now since you are going to maneuver everything here and you don't want it to be ripping off what i did find easier is once you have this pretty much placed in its position you can go ahead and slide the clock back um, and then put the second uh, air vent relocation piece to my understanding is like some take this off fully and then try to slide it in but the problem is 
once it's in here you notice how you don't have a lot of wiggle room so what that's why i did what i did and pretty much installed this first slid this back to its position and then worked this way out um this one looks like it's going to need to be enlarged a little bit for the bolt to go back in this one doesn't really need to since it's held by screw so we're going to go ahead and enlarge that hole and then pretty much i'm um, pretty sure we still have to insert the foam piece right here for the other vent so here's the progress so far i've got the assembly put back in place screws back in and then the two 10 mil bolts right here so we're going to go ahead and start plugging everything in running some of the wires and then pretty much have to test it to its fullest before we put everything back in so we're just kind of moving along running everything up um, i did mount the gps right here mount the i guess this is the 4g i have to look in the instruction but this needs to be hooked up as well um, for the mic you can go ahead and pop this cover for the push button run the wire along right there and underneath this is where you're going to place the mic right here it's going to come with the holder as well so just go ahead and run that run it along with the um, gps harness and then pretty much plug everything in test the functionality make sure everything turns on i did hook up the extension or the adapter so i can use the factory usb right here which is this plug right here and i went ahead and put a tape on it that way it doesn't come off but so far i got everything plugged in obviously i didn't have the gps plugged in yet but i got the hazard button plug as well so i'm gonna go ahead and clean this up zip tie everything up and then test the whole system so i'm just kind of testing everything and i kind of got stumped on the hazard because this is what it comes with got an extra plug right here and then this plug right here yada yada well i found out that i have to remove the factory hazard wiring from the factory radio assembly and then pretty much obviously plugs into the factory location plugs into the six pin or yeah one two three four five six seven eight pin um, connection right here and these two doesn't get plugged to anything and pretty much the hazards work so kind of wish the instruction would have mentioned something about that but had to figure that out on my own but anyway the hazard button works so yeah just go ahead and remove this button or the wiring harness for the hazard from the factory one and then you should be good to go another tip as well i did make the mistake of plugging this part in to this plug right here they are the same and this one will go straight right here but in your case this is the one that has the power and all that so the one with the brown and blue is what goes to here as you can see it matches with the power this doesn't so that's why it wouldn't power up the first time i plugged it in so that was my mistake but since this thing didn't come with an instruction kind of have to figure it out on my own but i still need to run the rca um, to the corner right there that way it'll be ready for the two usbs that came with the unit um, this is not absolutely necessary but if you want to do this here's how i did mine there's going to be a cover here that you kind of pop off from the glove box go ahead and drill a small hole run the wire to the side and pretty much put this back since an amp and sub is going to be added in the future i went ahead and going to run a us or the rca and the remote wire kind of just going to be tucked into the corner that way i don't have to take the radio back off so if you do are doing something like that might as well do it while you're at it so i'm still trying to run wires i know it looks like a mess right now but all of these are going to be tidied up once i finalize everything but for now we're going to go ahead and wire this up if you are adding a subwoofer you're going to need <clears throat> the sub out it's only a one rca so you're going to need a splitter like this so mail in plug into that and then obviously the female right here that way everything's pretty much ready so in an event that you don't have it or you're not doing any amp and sub you can just leave this out and tape it up uh, make sure you tape all these up doesn't have to be pretty as long as it's covered that way it doesn't accidentally touch 
any metal since there are quite a bit of metal back there so just a little precaution there but overall i'm gonna go ahead and put everything in i already got the rca ran to the corner right here and the remote wire is ready so we are moving along and we are pretty much ready to put everything back in so i got everything put back together i pretty much popped it in and i realized i forgot to put the foam support um for the ac vent i don't know what it will do if i don't put it on but i know for a fact that if it's not sealed you're gonna hear like whistling and things like that so ended up having to pull everything back since it just pops off but yeah sometimes sometimes you, you kind of forget a little bit so because there's so much wires going on so much process but he just popped off put it back down and pretty much just apply it real quick so it doesn't really take that long but yeah like i said don't forget that don't make the same mistake as i did so yeah go ahead and turn everything on test the functionality make sure everything is good and pretty much put the bottom panel back on so I did notice the weirdness with the steering control. The volume up and down works fine, but as soon as you click like forward or reverse or ahead or back, it's not doing anything. This one is kind of the opposite. When you press up, it's supposed to change station to up, but it's going down. So I'm gonna try to figure out what needs to do or what I need to do to fix that. But that's the only thing I found so far, but the volume works just fine so yeah just kind of playing a, playing a little bit with the unit kind of getting the feel of where the settings are and how things work so I'm only on just kind of checking out YouTube obviously got to give a shout out to myself um, so far this unit is pretty cool way too many features for my needs but we have the time to sit on it and play with it and you'll find just about every setting imaginable that you can do or change to your liking but I made the basic changes and I did a little bit of this and that and so far the sound the functionality and things like that are on point so but yeah I'm gonna keep playing with it more and keep testing the unit just a quick little demo just kind of show you what it all has pretty cool system pretty responsive has everything you could possibly need um, wireless carplay usb um, just connected to your mobile hotspot or you can put your own sim so you can have a limited signal to it pretty much but overall pretty cool unit works great these push buttons are pretty quick 